Yo, what's up? What's up, y'all? We're about to create two legendary drums right now. The first one, I notice Kendrick uses a lot. It's in his song, Fear, from his album, Damn. The second one, J. Cole uses it in Wet Dreams, 2014 Forest Hills Drive album. In four sounds. Four sounds, y'all. That's all you need to create this beat. A kick, a snare, a hi-hat, and an open hat. Adding a fifth sound, like a sub bass into it, that only adds a little flavor, you know what I'm talking about? Like, like uh, a little sauce. No, I'm just playing with y'all. But anyways, let's get it going. Let me just get this kick. You know what I'm saying? Go to the step sequencer. One thing I like to do here when I'm, when I'm making beats with a sample, I have it laid out in the playlist. So I like to put a pattern out. Just so when I'm making the beat, I could play the song. I could play it in song mode. I could play it in the playlist while um, putting things here in the step sequencer. You'll see what I'm talking about. step half it a little bit sound like no. now let's put this snare in there Now let's get the sub bass in there. One thing about it, right click, cut self. Only so it doesn't overlap the other notes that you play when you're laying the sub bass down. Now let's go.
step. Let me tweak these real quick. Now, let's get this hi-hat sample. This right here, it's crazy. This sounds like a top tier sample because it sounds like someone just got on the drums and just played the hi-hats and recorded it with a microphone. You see, here's the thing, finding this right here was not easy. Plus, there's an open hi-hat instilled in it. So, that's a two for price of one. <laughs> Using the hi hat sample, gotta gotta use it in here. Remember, change the mode to auto so the change doesn't, so the pitch doesn't change. Put it up to one bar because it'll fit. So this is what it'll sound like now. Oh, get out of here. Now let's go. <music> One thing I like to do is tweak my sub bases a little bit so it isn't because like while playing the beat, you kind of notice that the you kind of notice that the sub bass was kind of off was a little slightly off beat and in order to give it that boom bap feeling you want to shift it give it about like two or three three time shifts in order to get it that feeling you know what i'm talking about right That right there is the first drums. Let's go over to the J. Cole version. Now, this Honey Dripper sample right here. I know this one's familiar. This one right here, it's a complete drum sample. There's a kick, a hi-hat, snare, and an open hat in it. It's top tier only because it's a classic. Like, come on. It's real. Just listen to it. Like, someone was literally playing this live while it was being recorded. Now, tell me, what gets better than that? <laughs> Let me drag it into the playlist and stop playing with you guys. Remember, double click the sample, change it to auto so the pitch doesn't change. Now, stretch it to one bar and duplicate it. Remember, highlight this, control B to save the time. One thing I'm gonna do here 
I'm going to add a sub bass to this J. Cole drum sample. Now, here's what I'm about to do. Follow along. Let's see how all of these drums sound together with the sample. Bet. Now you already know this structure is about to be lit. Now get out here and go to the structures. Nah, I'm playing with y'all again. I'm a fool. Don't listen to me. See y'all in the next clip. Peace.